man Gon' call me full metal cause I'm hard like Armstrong Baby, call me small, get capped, don't play with God Watch out, hit up when we rock her bells cause I'm a dog Working every day, rest of y'all look like sloth If they break me down, I'm back, I'll never stop Full metal, know the name while I'm on my way to the top What's up KLT Nation, it's your boy KLT Top back with another fire video for y'all today and today we are doing thumbnail tutorial part 2. Now today we're going to be going over everything in the filter system. If you haven't watched part 1 then go watch it right now. It's currently a 1.6k views so if you want to see more videos like this let's hit maybe... 30 likes on this video so every single person who watches this video and if you enjoy this video and if this video helps you with making thumbnails go hit the like button the link to the old video will be in the description below and yeah i hope you really enjoyed this video write down in the comment section what you guys really want to learn with making thumbnails because then i'll prioritize that in the next video the next video is going to be about overlays and like effects and stuff so make sure to like and subscribe and stay in tune for that but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. We are currently at 1.12K, which is kind of crazy since I only just hit 1K. But yeah, if you managed to enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. What's up guys, your boy KLT Top back with another five video for you today. Today, you know already by the intro that we're making all these thumbnails, you feel me? So yeah, today we're gonna be making a thumbnail tutorial part two, and today we're gonna be going through the filter button. Now the filter button is gonna be one of the most important buttons when you're making your renders, as this is really just gonna give you a render that just like that pizzazz that it needs. Um, I first did the tutorial with, um, what's it called? I did it with a Minato render, but I think I'm gonna go for Anel this time. We're gonna go for this Anel render by this dude. Uh, make sure when you take a render make sure to credit because you can get banned from the server for not crediting and also like you know just just credit credit the people um i won't be there won't be any need for me oh uh, you guys can already see him here ash go hit him up if you want to use his render i'm not going to really go to credit since i'm not going to be using it for like the thumbnail or anything just for the showcase of the video and plus i'm crediting him here by showing him in the video so yeah make sure just to put them in your description ask them to use their render and yeah that's basically it so yeah we're gonna go find a background for now so i think i'm gonna go for enaru enaru so yeah we're gonna find an image of enaru and let's go for this one no that one looks a bit goofy actually uh, what can we go for enaru let's sign error let's find enaru no that one yeah yeah he's getting fucked up in that one all right we can use this one but that one we're gonna have to rescale and we can use this one yeah these two look pretty high they look pretty high so yeah, make sure just to download these two images that you want for the background. I put, I very, I say you should use two. Let's delete this from the old showcase. Yeah, I say it's really good to use two because then it just help, it just helps with your background. So yeah, make sure you put your thumbnail thing to by clicking on it, put it to one one twelve eighty by seven twenty, which will that's the perfect size for YouTube thumbnails. If you're making any of these though, you can switch up to those. So then press OK and you're in. So basically the first thing you want to do is go into your um, fold your files. So this is basically your layers and this is going to show what layers on top of each other. This plus button, <coughs> sorry that pardon me. This plus button um, was called allows you to add layers on top which you can draw in. So layer two, I can draw layer two. And if I go to layer one and switch color and draw, it's going to be underneath layer two. Remove it, then you can see it's on top. So you guys already remember layers. So now we're just gonna use the eraser and we're gonna erase all of that out. Um, this allows you to invert the canvas. So if I, if I draw here, if I press invert, it's gonna invert the canvas to the other side. Same here. The thing about inverting canvas though, it inverts all the layers. So if I do this as well, it inverts the whole canvas. If I do this, it just inverts the layer on its own as you can see okay so we're just gonna go through more stuff like that as well next we also got that's upside down as well so you guys see that then we've got the image button where you can add images onto your phone so we can add images in we're just gonna scale this and select it and move it to this side a bit um oh, i didn't scale that right you don't want to see any white parts i right, scaled that right and then you want to add another one 
where we add this one uh, i don't really like this one now looking at it yeah i don't really like this one i suggest getting pictures of the anime we'll get another one so yeah this also inverts the colors so that looks a bit creepy so we're gonna invert that back this also clears the layer that's what that also does then let me add that one. let me add this one back let's just keep this full screen for now um this allows you to invert just the layer on its own as you can see in the picture here this one allows you to flip it this one allows you to merge two layers down so let's say you have this layer and this layer if you rub out this layer it's just going to rub out this but if you merge them down together it's going to rub out both layers because they're both one layer now but yeah and this is also bin so you can destroy a layer by destroying it and then this is just options which i don't really use background you can choose what type of background you want you know what i'm gonna go for this background for once like i never go for backgrounds like these but you know for once i might just go for one like this so yeah that's all the basics this allows you to show and hide a layer so yeah you can hide it show it hide it show it hide it and yeah that's basically it so we're gonna go find another background for enaru or nell whatever you like to call him like he had he had a bunch of names Enaru attack you want to get a picture of both of the anime because those ones do look better um, and you want them to have like the same color, kind of color to it like the same type of lighting like you don't want to pick one really like one really really dark shade and then one light shade so yeah i might go for this one this one gives the same vibes as the other one i don't know why they put on share download image and yeah you go back to your ibis pen x and you add these two images so this first one i'm gonna add to this side and this second one i'm gonna add to this side now you're probably wondering oh, are they overlapping each other but if you watch the first tutorial you should know that you just rub it out down the middle you want to put it on low opacity big and look like it just gives you that nice little change effect you want to do it right down the middle so you might want to put your opacity down if you can see the line a bit and yeah that should really be that should be it yeah that should be it so yeah so after you do that you wanna sometimes yeah you can merge the layers down together which makes layer, the layers one whole thing so yeah, look if you put it back before yeah merge layer down look before it's two separate layers so yeah you wanna merge it down go into filter go into blur go into glassy and blur and you wanna blur out the background a tiny bit not too much you can choose what type of blur you want I prefer Glacium Blur and I like to go for a nice 7, not too much. Then next you want to open your thing and you want to put down your render now. I'm going to be using this Enaru render because it's just a nice render, you feel me? So yeah, let's just make like a Goro Goro no Mi showcase. So yeah, we're going to put this Enaru down. Now, here's our Enaru, here's our thumbnail. Now this thumbnail is looking pretty, pretty high at the moment. Nothing too snazzy, nothing too fancy nice tweet there so yeah next we want to to improve this thumbnail you could rub it out and stuff but yeah that's not really what we want to do so yeah we want to go into filter and here's now all your filter stuff now today video we're going to be going over the filter no it took me seven minutes to get to it but you know i'm just recapping with you guys so yeah we've got 71 choices in filter so first let's go into adjust color you can adjust the color of things in here so look, you see how this this um, render went from like a really dark shade. Look, from this dark shade, you can up the brightness. Like, it's like it really works that magic. Like, it really works that magic. Like, look at that. It's like I don't even know how that works, but like it just works. Okay. So yeah, you can up with the uh, lighting of the color. So if you have a if you have a render that's like quite bland like this, you can up the lighting of it. So I like to go for that. Then you can also use, you can change the hue and saturation. I don't really mess around with this kind of stuff because there's other ways to do it. There's also color balance so you can make it, you can balance out the colors in it a bit. But there is also another better way to do this color balancing. I'll show you in a minute. Extract line drawing. I use this sometimes, like if I'm doing certain things, like if I want a certain effect, I do use this sometimes and definitely in like logo creation but i'll show you that in a different video this one i definitely use a lot when doing certain stuff but it depends on the situation so yeah this one's pretty good as well just shows the lines around it. it's pretty self-explanatory 
Now change drawing color is one of the ones I use a lot a lot like if I'm trying to show a new character like I'll make it like black to change the drawing color and I'll put a question mark in the middle of it so yeah that's pretty lit as well mono color I do use this a lot like with the ABA logo so let's say um, this character came to ABA so let's open this go into gallery go into downloads come all the way down here go into ABA I want to put the ABA logo right here so yep, I normally will change the mono color to like a blue because I'm doing a video on like a blue type character. So yeah, there's also grayscale makes it black and white, black and white, which literally makes it black and white. Polarize is I don't even I don't even use this at all, so I'm just gonna add it. But yeah, next we're on to blur, which we use for the background. Now, Glacian blur does an all round kind of blur. You really want to blur your background so your render stands out. Zooming blur, you can see it does a blur around the radius. Might want to add that one as well. Moving blur allows you to do a blur in a certain direction. So as you can see, lens blur allows you to do like, you know, one of those like, you know when they do, I don't even know how to explain it, but you, you guys just see it here. Mosaic allows you to do one of those like pixelated mosaic blurs. Unsharp mask sharpens your thing. So I think it like sharpens the edges of it. So yeah. If you see unsharp mask, it like it makes your it makes your render stand out even more. So I use that on that. Frosted, gla frosted glass just does that. Pretty self-explanatory. Same with frosted glass, it's just the same as the normal blur. Now onto style, which is one of the most important ones. This is what we'll be using to make our thumbnails. So first, what I normally like to go for when I'm using style is like a, either a black or white outline. Black is what I normally start with, but sometimes you can also start with white. A lot of people ask me how to do this, and yeah, this is really how you do it here. So I go for a black outline, which is stroke. So stroke, I did really expand it. It basically allows you to do the inner width, and it also allows you to expand its outer width. So you can just decide what you want to do. I normally go for like this type of like that amount. Then next we've got stained glass, which I don't really understand how this stained glass works, but nevertheless, it's there. But anyways, next we've got wet edge, which basically allows you, it's basically shading. It gives like a darker tone around the outside of the stuff. And I use it for, I used to use it a lot for shading when I didn't know how to shade myself. Next we've got glow inner, which allows you to make a glow inside your character. So maybe I want a little, I don't know, black glow, put the, opac the opacity up. And yeah, I can just have that little black glow inside the middle. I really don't really like it that much, so I'm just going to keep it like this. Next we've got Bevel, which basically just does a mo multiple of things, like it allows you to, like, it gives you like a shine on your character. I no don't normally use this one that much anymore, and I really use um, Relief now, but we'll get onto that. So yeah, this really just gives your like character like a highlight, like a shine. You can use this if you like for certain things, but personally I don't really use it that much. Next is Emboss. This one's quite new, so I don't really know how to use it. In, I've never had to use this in any circumstances, so yeah, that's that. And yeah, this is basically what I use for lighting. So um, since this is a blue type character, we're just gonna put some blue lighting, maybe put that to the max, environmental color, maybe put a white, and look how the render stands out now. Now that I've done it like this, you can also adjust the height the flatness of the thing, the smoothness, if you want it to be like blurry or not. Yeah, this is quite good. Roundness to see how round it is. And highlight size to see how much the highlight, like how big it is. Sometimes you can put the opacity down if it's shining too much. And yeah, that's really what I'm gonna go for right now. That looks aight. We've got water drop rounded, water drop. We've got stroke outer, which is basically the other stroke. But um, you can't do the inner width, it's just the outer width. So I like to go for a nice white here. Then we have glow outer, which you'll be using a lot. So I can make an outer glow of my character, which makes it stand out even more. Sometimes it looks dumb, but sometimes it looks really good at the same time. So it just depends how you do it. I'm just gonna go for a black glow this time. Next we have drop shadow, gives your character a shadow. You can change the like radius of it, the angle of it. So if I want to move this to this side, yep, then you can move the distance also. All right, let me move that distance in. All right, yep. 
and then we can also change the color of it so yeah you can see the color changes so you can tell it's there and yeah i'm just gonna make that black so yeah we can also do extrude parallel but you're not really gonna use it that much and extrude perspective like you're just really not gonna use those that much but anyways next on to draw draw is more for backgrounds also so if you want to make another background here make another layer go into draw we can do gradation like this and you can change the colors as well if you can select colors from here or you can pick your own colors here like that you can change it middle it contrast it so it's just for you guys to play around with there's also this circle one that's pretty cool you know what i might just use this one to be honest like this looks really really nice yeah this does look really really nice damn it does really look nice god damn yeah i might just use this one yeah so yeah we can make these stand out blue yep yeah, this looks pretty cool new character coming to aba you can also add radial lines you probably want to make another layer when you're adding this and then you can change the angle you can change the aspect ratio yeah this is yeah you probably want this one radial line on the very top layer so you're gonna make another layer here radial line yep um make the outer, outer radius longer yep so yeah that's pretty nice there you can just play around with all this stuff like i am right now yeah okay let's make that black and then that's pretty lit as well so let me let's move on um we've played around with the character we've played around with the draw We've also got speed lines, looks pretty high. And now we're on to AI, auto paint, you, like I just never used like, but I don't even know why I clicked it, but yeah, the AI plates. Oh, okay, that's just AI painting. But yeah, um, can I go back? Uh, yeah. So we've also got artistic, so let's go to this character. Now we can also change its artist, art, art, I can't even say it. We could just make it artistic, so. We can make it like an anime filter, a manga. We can make it um, like this, like a, like a, I don't even know, like a glitch. That's what I sometimes do to make the thumbnails pop out. So maybe just one. Yeah, it makes it pop out a bit. Yeah, and you can just change its color order. You can do this one that makes it pop out even more. You can do an actual glitch one. Sometimes we might do this for like a reveal character video. You could do this one where it's like noise in the background. Maybe I want that a bit. Yeah, that'll be looking, that'll look lit by a little bit. We also got chrome, sheer cross, sheer line, sheer circle. We've got so many. But yeah, that's um, all of the artistic. Now we've got pixelate. You can pixelate the stuff. If you can see all of that, like this is just stuff that you guys have to go check out for yourself. We've got exp expansion to expand the brain and stuff like that, like bang. We've got this, 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 all of this stuff. So transform could do that. And then last we've got frame. So frame is the one I do use a lot and I use it for blur frame. Now, if you go to the top layer, make a new layer, then if you add blur frame, you can blur the screen to a certain extent. Now I say you always want to go with white or black because just the blue and stuff, they just look a bit corny. So yeah, you just want to go with that. See, that's basically it for this thumbnail tutorial. I just went through everything in the filter category. So just to check if it's just some, just to help you guys like learn what each filter does. This is really just you to learn and you to experiment with what you want to use these filters to do. Um, I'm going to get that ABA logo. I'm going to give it like a like an outside shine. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. And yeah, that's really it for this video. So yeah, that's my thumbnail of um what's it called that's my nl farm now so next video we're gonna be doing overlays and like effects adding effects to it so maybe we'll add like lightning effects and stuff like that so for now this is my enaru render he looks pretty high pretty high not gonna lie but yeah if you managed to enjoy this video please make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and yeah i'll see you in the next video so death don't a death don't a fuck with me you might end up my death row a for the death from myself a strep throat when i get to carry the weight you know my threat ho a when i pull up i load up like hold up and sell i be go there i show up my fold up myself but like one chip i munch it and this ain't fair well don't get cut up but real i send you to hell